In this video, we're going to take a look at dividing polynomials. Now, dividing polynomials, you might sometimes see this given as algebraic long division. They are just the same thing, just a different name to represent this. Now, for dividing polynomials, I'm not going to really open with any kind of introduction or any context to this. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to work through two examples just to kind of illustrate the method. It's kind of easiest to do it that way uh, rather than try and kind of explain it. So let's just start with this first one here. So what I want to do is divide this cubic polynomial here by x plus 1. So what we're doing here is algebraic long division. So let's set up our bus stop here. So underneath the bus stop, we put our polynomial here. So that's going to be x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x and then minus 6. Okay. Now what we're dividing it here by is x plus 1. We put that here on the outside, so x plus 1. Now the first thing we do here to start is we take the highest power term, so that would be this x cubed here. Okay, so we take the x cubed, and what we do is we divide that by the highest term here from the divisor, so that would be this x here. So what do we get when we take x cubed and divide it by x? Well, that would give us x squared. So we get x squared there, okay? And what I do now is I take this x squared here, and I times it by the divisor, so x plus 1. So that's going to give me x squared times x, which is x cubed. So we get x cubed there. And then x squared times 1, which will give me positive x squared. And what we do now is once I've got two of these columns matching, um, or we've got two parts here for each column, or the first two columns, I don't know if I explained that very well, but hopefully it makes sense. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to subtract here. So x cubed minus x cubed, so what we're doing here is uh, subtraction, so x cubed minus x cubed, well, that would be 0x cubed, so just 0, and then I've got 2x squared minus x squared, so it would just leave me with positive x squared, okay? And what we do from here now is we bring down this part here, so we bring this minus 5x down, so what I've got now is x squared minus 5x, okay? And we repeat this process here again, what we did with the x cubed, so this x cubed, we divide it by x. We repeat that now with the x squared. So x squared divided by x, that would give me plus x, okay? Or, yeah, we'll just put plus x. Okay, so plus x there. And now what we did with the x squared, when we times it by the divisor, we repeat that again with this plus x here. Okay, so x times x, that gives me x squared. And then x times 1, that would just give me plus x. And now, because I've got two columns here that are matching, what we do now is we do our subtraction. Okay, x squared minus x squared, well, that'd just be 0. Minus 5x minus x, that would give me minus 6x. Okay, now you bring down this final part here, this minus 6. We bring that down here, so I've got minus 6x minus 6. And now again, we just repeat this process that we've been doing across here, down this diagonal. We take the minus 6x and we divide it by the highest power in the divisor. And that would just simply give me minus 6. Okay. And one more time now, we just take our term here, this minus 6, and times it by the divisor. That's going to give me minus 6x. And then plus 1 times minus 6, and that'll just give me minus 6. Okay. And again, we've got two columns here, so we're subtracting. Well, minus 6x minus minus 6x, that's the same as minus 6 plus 6. That's going to give me 0x. And then minus 6 minus minus 6 again, it's just the same as minus 6 plus 6. So we get 0 there. Okay, so we can't see it very well, but we get a 0. Now, this final term here, this constant at the end, what this tells us is the remainder. So once you get to this constant term at the end, questioned and we've done the division. So what we can see then is if we divide our cubic polynomial here, x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 6 by x plus 1 and what I get here is this quadratic okay so we get x squared plus x minus 6 okay and there we have that's our solution we have a remainder of 0 so we have no remainder so what we could actually do is express our cubic as well just another point of notation here or the way we can express our solution we've got our cubic polynomial so 2x squared minus 5x, minus 6, or we can express that now as a product of our quadratic here and this term. Okay, so I've got x plus 1, 
times this quadratic. Okay. And you might sometimes be asked to give the solution in this way. So that's just something to be aware of. Okay. But this can only be done if the remainder is zero. If this was two, for example, or any value um, other than two, or other than zero, I should say. So as long as we get a remainder that isn't zero, then we can express it in this form. Okay. So there we have it. So that's the solution to the first example. So let's clear everything on the screen just so we can see the second one. Okay. So for this one, what we're going to do now is find the remainder. So what we're going to do is just repeat this algebraic long division or divide in polynomials. So let's do our bus stop. We've got x cubed here, minus 5x squared, uh, minus 4x, and plus 18. Okay, and we're dividing this now by x minus 2. Put the x minus 2 here on the outside. And just repeat the whole process that we saw for the last question, but for this one now. So we do x cubed, divide that by the highest power in the divisor, which is x, and we get x squared there. Now we take the x squared and we times it by the divisor, so I'm going to get x cubed again. I'm going to get minus 2x squared. Now we've got two columns that match here, so we can do our subtraction, but do take care here because x cubed minus x cubed, nice and straightforward, that gives us 0. But for minus 5x squared minus minus 2x squared, that will give us, um, this, that's the same as basically doing minus 5x squared plus 2x squared, okay? Which in that case will give us minus 3x squared. So just be very careful with the signs here. We now bring down this minus 4x here. So I've got minus 3x squared minus 4x. Now we take the minus 3x squared and divide it by x, which would give me minus 3x. Take the minus 3x and times it by x minus 2, so we get minus 3x squared. And then minus 3x times minus 2, which would give me positive 6x. Okay. We've got two columns. We can do our subtraction here. They'll cancel. And then I've got minus 4x minus 6x. That's going to give me minus 10x there. Okay. Bring the 18 down to pretty much finish with here. I get minus 10x plus 18. Now we take the minus 10x, divide it by x. That's going to give me minus 10. And now we take the minus 10 and times it by the divisor, x minus 2. So like you can see with these questions, they really are quite um, mechanical. They always work in the same way. So as long as you can follow the basic steps, this should hopefully be quite a nice straightforward topic. So I get minus 10x and then minus 10 times minus 2. That's plus 20. All I need to do now is my subtraction one more time. Well, minus 10x minus minus 10x, they'll cancel, I get 0x. And then 18 minus 20, that would give me minus 2 there. Okay, so therefore the remainder, let's just write this down. So like we said, the remainder is given by this final constant here. So that's 18 minus 20, giving me minus 2 there. Okay, and that's our solution to the second example. So we've worked through two together, now it's your turn. So pause the video here, have a quick go at this question on the screen, and then we'll take a look in a moment at what you should have got. So hopefully you've gotten okay with this practice question. Let's take a look now at what you should have got. So this one looks a little bit different because we're using this function notation, but don't worry about that, we're just doing the same thing. So I've got this polynomial here, this cubic polynomial, and we're dividing this by x plus one, and I just wanna know the remainder. So again, just set up our bus stop here. I've got x cubed. Um, I've got 4x squared. Just one thing to know here, I don't have an x term, okay? So put the 4x squared in like normal. Now, be careful here. Don't skip this x term here. Because we don't have it, that's going to be 0x. So put 0x in. And then I've got plus 2. A common mistake here is to avoid putting the 0x and just put in plus 2 and it can really throw the division, okay? Because you're gonna pull this two down um, as part of the subtraction, and that will be incorrect. So I've got x plus one on the outside here, that's what we're dividing by. So now we just do the process that we're familiar with here. We take the x cubed, divide it by x. So that's gonna give me x squared, and now we take the x squared, times it by the divisor. So I'm gonna get x cubed there, and then I'm gonna get one x squared, so plus x squared. We've got two columns, so we can do our subtraction here. They cancel. And I've got 4x squared minus x squared, so that's going to give me 3x squared. 
We now bring down this zero x. This is what I was saying. If you'd have put plus two there, that would have been three x squared plus two, and that's not correct. Okay, so that's zero x. So now we do three x squared divided by x, and that'll give me plus three x. We now take the three x and times it by x plus one, so I get three x squared and plus three x. Okay, three x times one, we get three x. We've got two columns again, so we can now do our subtraction. They cancel, and I've got 0x minus 3x. That's going to give me minus 3x. Okay, now bring down this 2. So I've got 3x plus 2 here. Now we do minus 3x divided by x, and that's just going to give me minus 3. One more time now, we take the minus 3 and times it by x plus 1, and that's going to give me minus 3x and then minus 3. So minus 3 times 1 minus three. Remember we're subtracting here, we've got two columns, so do our subtraction. They'll cancel, so that's zero x. And I've got positive two minus minus three, so that's two minus minus three, which is the same as two plus three, giving me five there. Okay, so we get left with five there. We've got our constant term at the end, so question done. Okay, so remember, this term here at the end tells us the remainder. So the remainder here, the remainder is equal to five. Okay, so when f of x is divided by x plus one, the remainder is equal to five. And that's our solution. So that brings us to the end of this video on dividing polynomials. In the next video, we're gonna take a look at the factor theorem.